before we get started with this review enjoy some shots of the car Welcome back everyone. Have you ever wondered how does it look inside the interior of a first ever mass produced electric car? Here it is. So today we are going to be reviewing the 2025 Nissan Leaf. So let's get right into it. As you can see up front, since it's an EV, it has a closed grill with the new Nissan logo in front. It has a front camera. Now when you come onto the headlamps you can see these are led with the turn indicator and it has like iconic design now on the side its wheels are pretty futuristic looking with black and gray tips those look very nice now when you come on, now when you come onto the side of a car the side view is like this yeah looks pretty iconic and then when we move on to the back you can see it has a rear wiper defogger with the nissan logo it says sv plus over here with the badge it says the leaf here it has this iconic tail lamps with the backlight and the turn signal and then we can just open the hatch this is our hatch it's pretty it's a pretty big boot since the floor is low we have ample of space up here at the back and then we just push it down and when you click this it would open the charge port now when we come to the front you see its charging port is down here which is pretty unique in the front yeah before we move forward with this review i just want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this i recommend you subscribe to my channel because i post content regularly every week and to help me review more cars yeah under the hood we have an electric motor that produces 214 horsepower and gets 212 miles of electric driving range as you can see this is the 12 volt battery washer fluid and then the motor and you can see as you can see the hood is quite heavy and then as you see we have this gorgeous looking blue color with good cuts and curves and now, and yeah as I told you, it has 360 degree camera coverage with the front camera over here, the side camera, so yes, it has 360 degree camera storage and the back camera right here. Yeah. Now when we pop the front, you can see the same trim continuing here but here as well. And then we have soft touches here with the hard plastic here and then we have the black piano finish the control for the mirrors and the power windows automatic windows child lock lock and lock stylish chrome door handles cup holder storage space storage space and as you can see this is our fancy steering wheel with the N nissan logo it's a pretty iconic steering wheel here we have like the track change controls volume controls infotainment controls and the gauge cluster controls and then we have the cruise control adaptive cruise control here call and then we have the trip reset meter down here we have the charge port opening heated steering wheel it's there on the highway and then over here we have like part digital we have part digital cluster part analog and then here we have an easy to use touch screen which is pretty good enough in size hazard lights ac vents and then yeah these are like physical buttons for the volume and track control then over here we have like a separate ac unit physical controls and then this is a start stop button for the car we have two usb ports a usb a and a usb c and then we have the heated seat controls over here the 12 volt socket and we have some wireless charger here and then we have eco mode and we have the e-pedal mode which is basically one pedal mode which is regenerative braking and then we have this gear shifter that's very good it's like a joystick control and then we have electronic parking brake over here these are the two cup holders and we have storage space down here with armrest soft touch then 
over here on the dash it's like hard plastic everywhere and here as well hard plastic and then we have this nice trim up here we have this nice trim here on the passenger side and the ac vent that's the passenger door and then this is the glove box and we have like deep storage in the glove and box. now as you can see this is our key it looks like any other key but it's pretty simple we have the, the nissan logo up here the lock button unlock button and to open the charge port button and we have the panic button or like the horn button and yeah one thing i forgot is see we have this lumbar support and power adjustable seats yeah overall the interior is pretty good looking with this blue stitching and this cloth seats that are electrically adjustable and then you can see this is the window sticker for it it gets 212 miles of range and yeah you can see it it's stickered for 30 38k but yeah if you come over here you can see there's a special discount going on it right now it was originally 38k but now it's selling for almost 28k and if you finance you have a 4.19 percent finance rate for 72 months and then at the back this gloss black panel that looks pretty good and then this blue color holds up really well so now when we come to the back door you can see we have hard plastic here hard plastic here soft touch black piano finish power window control cup holder more hard plastic but then when we come onto the seats we have this cloth seats with this blue stitching that looks very good and there as you can see no but it's like a four seater basically we have like usb ports i don't know if you can see them but we have like usb ports up here here then we have two cup holders in the center and and yeah that's the seats going all the way there yeah the back and it's pretty spacious at the back now when we come in so yeah and five seven five eight so if you're taller than me you're gonna have problems with the back seat but yeah for me i have like okay okay amount of hey i have okay okay amount of headroom and with the knee room i would say it's sufficient if you push the seat forward but i think it's sufficient for me and yeah pretty good enough height for an average person and now if you see over here we have this auto dimming irvm that helps you see at night at the back and we have this suede roof a light on the center and nice material roof holds up pretty well and we have like grab handles at the back and the visibility at the back it has a back wiper as well and then we come out you can see a small window over here that's pretty good and then when i come to the front these are twin shield wipers and over here is the camera for the adaptive cruise control and all tail light design on the side and then since it's a hatchback we have a spoiler backlight defogger back wiper and overall the back look and now about the final verdict i would say it's a pretty good looking car for its price obviously the reduced price but i would say it's a pretty good looking car and 212 driving miles of range it might not sound a lot but if you but if your driving is only around city and you don't go on long trips and you drive within city and your driving is quite low then 212 miles of range should last you a pretty long time for example, according to my driving, this 212 miles of range would last me approximately like 20 to 25 days on a full charge. So pretty good if you can drive it for 20 to 25 days without charging. And yes, it's a small compact hatchback, so no parking problems as well. So overall, I would say it's a pretty good looking car, worth it. And 212 miles of range is justified if you have city driving.